Greetings, this is Dr. Derek Ong and I will be teaching you how to um, you do mediation analysis uh, using the SPSS process macro by Professor Andrew Hayes. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to download the process macro and in install it onto your SPSS. So make sure you have SPSS on your PC. Now, uh, I'm going to be using an example from one of my research papers called the uh, impact factor uh, product factors on the purchase intention of sportswear in Malaysia and uh, one of the objectives is that I want to determine whether the brand image is a mediator between product design and purchase intention of sportswear in Malaysia and my research framework looks something like this yeah the brand image as a mediator between product design and purchase intention. If I were to just take this part out, I'm basically looking at whether brand image is a strong mediator for this, um, uh, what do you call it, the, the uh, relationship. So first off, let me just show you how to download process macro and install it into your SPSS. Uh, most importantly, make sure that you go to this website, uh, www.processmacro.org uh, slash download HTML, and you will see a um, problem here. Uh, click to download process. So click this. A new download will happen. So wait for it to download. Now, do remember to note that there are new versions released every single time. So I just found out that the new re version was released in January. So always try to keep up with the new latest version because they'll always add on something new to that version. So once I've got this download, I want to open the folder. And this folder is stored in my downloads process 215. Now this is a zip file, so I need to extract this file into the process folder. And it will create a new folder called process215, which is not a zip file. And I will go and browse and extract this folder. So it's extracted. Now I go to my SPSS. I find my SPSS icon. You can either find your SPSS icon on the desktop. Right click. Uh, it depends on which uh, version that you're using on Windows. Mine, I will have to go to more and run an administrator. So make sure you run as administrator. I say yes. <coughs> Let SPSS open. Uh, because you need to install a custom dialog, so we don't need this. Go to Utilities, go to Custom Dialogs, go to Install Custom Dialogs, and find your uh, process macro. So mine is in uh, Downloads, looking for uh, Process 215, and it will automatically look at the SPD, right? Uh, which is a syntax and a, and a, and a download, uh, sorry, a dialog box. So press open. This version is done and install. You can say OK because I've installed it before. So I'm going to overwrite. And this is to confirm that it is there. And uh, if you want to see whether it's there, go to analyze, uh, regression, go to linear. You will notice that you have this process by Andrew Hayes. Okay, so now let's open our data file. My data is the uh, sportswear. I'll find it. Um, it's on the desktop. SPSS. SPSS sportswear. Here it is. So for this data set, what I've done is I have already done the uh, construction of my variables uh, from my uh, multi-item scale. So I'm 
my previous video would have shown you how to do the reliability and factor analysis and also do the submitted skills. So these are already the submitted skills which I have done. And uh, purchase intention is my independent variable and all the other variables are my independent variables. So going back to this, I'm going to set this up to do my mediation, product design, uh, purchase intention as IV as product design, purchase intention as my DV, and brand image as my mediator. So I go to analyze, go to process, and I'll get this dialog box out. So the outcome variable will be purchase intention. The independent variable will be um, product design and brand image becomes the mediator or the M variable. Now, if you notice when you download the process, uh, there is this file that shows you templates. So please look through these templates because these templates will give you uh, a guide as to how to use the uh, process macro. So for example, my um, analysis right now, I'm using a simple mediation diagram. So I'm actually using model number four. Yeah, independent variable, my dependent variable, and my uh, mediator. So using this, what I'm going to do is I must make sure that my model is selected as model number four. Uh, my next video will be on moderation and I'll be using that as model number one. So Pace has done uh, 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 set in 76 different macros, uh, 76 different models, and each of these models can be looked into in the templates here. So please do um, print this out so at least you can have a look on which model on which um, analysis suits your uh, model. So for this session I'm just going to stick to the uh, basic mediation model which is model number four right okay so options uh, effect size and so bell you take the compare dialogs and total effect model uh, long names, make sure they allow for long names because if you don't, they will say only eight characters are allowed. And that's it. Let's just go to OK. Now it will take some time for it to run the analysis because it does, is basically an add on of the analysis. So please do uh, exercise some patience on this. Now, so this is where we look at the model where you have the y, the x, the dependent and independent, and of course the mediator, sample size of 284, with an R square of the model uh, or brand image. So this is product D to brand image, and you notice that the coefficient here is 0 0.4493. So when you report, you report like this, yeah? So product design to brand image is 0 0.4493. You look at it, it is a significant relationship. Okay, and then purchase intention with brand image and product design. So you have 0 0.4486 and negative 0 0.356. Uh, with brand image, it's... Um, uh, significant but with product design it's not significant so here so this is the one with the brand image negative 0 0.0356 it is not significant that's why you don't see a star but the brand image to which it's attention it is significant that's how you see a star so one star is uh, significant at five percent and two stars is significant at one percent so I'm just looking at the significance here and uh, total effect model, which is only product design without the brand image, is 0 0.1660. It is significant. So that's where I put here 0 0.1660. It is significant. Now, where is then the mediation? So the mediation takes this path times this path, and you will get 0 0.2115. 
and you need to check and see whether or not this path is actually above uh, does it contain zero in the confidence interval because if it does contain zero then you cannot be sure whether or not this mediation actually has a stronger effect than the main effect of the product designed to purchase intention so we go back and look at the uh, output here the indirect sorry look at this here the indirect effect of x on y with the brand image of 0 0.212015 and this is the lower limit confidence interval and the upper limit confidence interval so this basically means that this times this you get 0 0.2015 is a significant mediation and stronger mediation stronger than with the product design to purchase intention so they're basically saying that yes this is a mediation so brand image is a strong mediator uh, between product design and purchase intention because it takes more of the um, uh, relationship yeah the transitive relationship so if the brand image is not good then the product design really relies on the brand image for people to actually have purchase intention which means um, yes the brand the product design comes first but it is also mediated by the brand image so if the brand image is not good then people might not have any purchase intention all right so that's all for mediation if you have any questions on mediation do contact me by email and thank you for watching